Hello, uh, today I will talk about developing and using research questions in qualitative research. Let's begin with what is a research question and uh, a few common misconceptions about the research questions. Research question is the problem statement uh, in an interrogative form uh, that focus on an issue or problems that the researcher wants to explore, interpret and explain. Research questions if they are developed and crafted appropriately, help to investigate with a focus and aim without wasting time, money and resources. Uh, well, however, before taking, talking more about the research questions, let me first discuss few misconceptions about the research questions in qualitative research. Uh, first misconception is, that you think a research question is a beginning point of the study, uh, then you are probably not right. The beginning point is the idea and the background of the idea from where you can gradually move towards the problem statement, broader questions, and then narrowing it down to research questions. So research question is not actually the beginning point of your study. Second, Good research questions do not guarantee to produce good results or good research. There is much more needed to produce good research. That includes literature review skills, conceptual frameworks, research methods and analytical skills. However, uh, good research questions provide you the pathways to all these connected elements of good research. Third is Research question in qualitative research, they are not about predicting outcomes. Even though the findings of the qualitative research can guide you for further quantitative or mixed method studies, a qualitative research question does not guarantee uh, to predict some outcome. It is about exploring the phenomena in the social world. It is more about the process that lead to an outcome. Forward says that the research question in qualitative research does not focus on generalization of the findings as it is not a primary objective in, uh, of qualitative research. As I described in my lecture on introduction to qualitative research that you can watch on YouTube channel, qualitative research means to dig deep to reveal more in depth as it appears in social context. A qualitative research question is broad in its implication and narrow in its investigation. It does not mean generalization as in quantitative research. Well, uh, let's talk about developing the research question. Uh, well, let me suppose you have an idea in mind and uh, you know where this idea came from. It may be something you observed something you have concerns about, something you have experienced, something you think is interesting or something you think is relevant to your study area. But then what next? I would advise you to prepare a memo book at this point and make notes of your thoughts. Let us start with some questions about your idea or topic that you have thought about. First question is, how did you reach this idea or the topic? So write about it in your memo book. Then in the given order, uh, you should answer the following questions. What do I already know about this idea? And how do I know what I know about it? These two questions should reveal about your sources of knowledge about your idea. For example, it is your observation, it is your experience or some literature you have read. Uh, but here literature means anything such as newspaper articles, other media sources, anything that has given you some food for thought about this idea. You must be very clear about where did that, this idea come from. Remember research questions must be broad in its implications, 
narrow in its investigation and they should answer what, how and why. Now there are more questions that you can ask and write in your memo book. For example, what do I want to know about this topic? What do I see as more interesting and viable? Why is it important to know? And what do I see that has already been explored in this context? These questions are about your intentions, interest, curiosity and the importance of the topic. Remember that at this stage, you are also rationalizing your research interest in this topic and making it clear why is it something that is researchable. Question number six is particularly related to literature review that will encompass all other questions that you see above. And question number six, I mean, uh, I mean, what do I see that has all that has rarely been explored in this context? So this is more about finding gaps in the uh, while doing literature review. You can also recall your drill that you did while choosing the topic and narrow it down to your introduction to the specific research problem uh, in connection with your literature review. It also means that you, you must have skills in doing literature review to develop good research questions. Uh, yes, you can uh, browse uh, my YouTube channel and you will find uh, one video about doing literature review as well there. Okay, uh, while you are planning to do a literature review for this purpose, you can have some more questions such as what resources may be helpful, what do, uh, where do I find them, how to confirm the authentic information, what other information is required and how to maintain a logical flow uh, of the information from the various uh, resources. Besides providing you a global and local picture of your selected topic, a good literature review will provide you a conceptual insight of your topic that will help you to develop a research question. And finally, you will reach uh, uh, what, how and why of your research questions. And also, you can see the methodological frameworks that were used in other studies and that were relevant to your research questions. Uh, about the types of research questions, when we have uh, come to know that what, why and how are very important, uh, I, I mean very important words in your research questions, the type of research question also depends on what you are exploring. For example, uh, you are exploring subjective experiences, you are exploring beliefs, customs, social and cultural practices or you are just interesting to know how people understand um, or about the people opinions. What is your intention to explore? Um, that actually depends what type of such question you are going to write about. Uh, hence, whatever your intentions are, you will formulate your question accordingly. I have prepared a checklist for you that can help you to examine the quality of your research question. And of course, you need a yes against each one of these points. So I am just reading these points. You can also see it on your screen. Research questions are explorable. You have interest in these research questions. Many people are interested in these research questions. You get benefited from the reflections of your observation, your experience while developing, developing these questions. Research questions can produce, modify, enhance desired knowledge. Research questions are grounded in the problem statement. Research questions are acceptable in the context where they are mean to be explored. Research questions are relevant and intriguing. Research questions are focused and non-biased. Research questions are feasible to investigate with reference to time, cost, ethical consideration and available resources. Research questions reflect your investigative approach. And finally, you have carefully examined the language structure of your search questions. 
So these uh, were 12 points uh, that can help you to check the quality of your search question. Uh, thank you very much. We will uh, discuss another topic in our next lecture. Thank you.